think told that it was my collaboration. Tell us what the story is about a bit. Basically, this this is a, a tribal African story that takes. Right, testing it. Basically, this is a tribal story uh, takes place in in rural Africa, and it's it's a it's a story about a father that's it's basically telling his two sons, two younger sons that are that are probably going to the big city to school, uh, and it's it's basically about. The, the old tribal stories that, the, that the, their grandfathers used to tell around the fire. That's, that's basically the outline of the actual story. It's in the Zulu language and due for release in the next two to three months. How did you get into African film? About 12 years ago, uh, my uncle, he, he was originally the pioneer into the black film industry in South Africa. He shot the first Zulu and Sutu movie, but I think that was the first one in the world that was ever shot. And uh, I was still a schoolboy then, and uh, we used to help him out on set, be a runner, and that's basically how we got started in the, in the black film industry. So there was a perception on the part of your uncle that there was a market there that was ready, ready to be sold. How did that work? Well, his first movie that he made was actually an Afrikaans movie, and uh, and I think from, from, from shooting Afrikaans movie, that's how he actually got into the film industry itself. He then, uh, you know, then he diversified and, and to see that there was a market. I think he saw the market at that stage that to go into African movies and he, he shot one and the response was excellent and uh, that's basically where he started. Can you give us some uh, figures about numbers of viewers uh, when you see these films and costs? Uh, what it to make film, what the well, the, um, we're probably looking at the viewership of the total black South African market. I was speaking on a correction of plus minus about 2.3 million viewers per month. Um, it's not really a profit making business uh, because uh, you know the distance is travelled and uh, the way in which you have to actually go out there and, and go and you know to go and actually market your film. Lack of of uh, of television. Uh, you know, there's not really a media in which you can use to advertise your products. You still have to go out you know, into the field, put up posters, into the shops, advertise at schools. Your your, your actual cost factor in actually you know marketing the product is is very very high. So you you know it's, it's not really a profitable business to be in. We normally rely on the government subsidies, you know, for actual income on the pictures, because you see very, very little of the box office, if you can call it a box office. And uh, your, your normal case of, uh, normally what would happen is if you, if you do approach a school, and, uh, you know, the schools also are very, very short of school funds, so you normally, they would normally take a large percentage of the actual box office.